and welcome to this self-learning series for Control M Workload Manager Automation Products. My name is Mark Dobinson and I'm the Lead Technical Support Analyst within Control Mainframe Products. This is one of a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with the family of products. The title of today's video is Express Install Installing Control O. In this video, we'll be looking how to install Control O using the new Express installation facility provided in release 700 and above. This video will show you how to install Control O using the new Express installation process, which is available from release 700 onwards. The Express installation process is recommended when you want to perform an installation in the quickest and simplest manner. The screen you see at the moment is a screen that's initially loaded when you've invoked ICE for the first time. So from here I'm going to select the installation option. The next couple of screens are concerning license agreements and you need to confirm before you proceed. The next screen is the environmental definition screen where you enter details of the installation you're about to perform. For the purpose of this installation, the only change I'm making is to the storage class so I can place the files where I want to. Hit the enter screen, validate the screen and then PF3 to save. On the next screen select the express installation option followed by the interactive installation option. The next screen that's presented is where you enter the products you're going to install and the sizes. So for this installation I'll be installing Control O with a small database. The options for database sizes are small, medium, large, extra large and reference. Reference can be used to pull the existing size information from an existing install. Once again I hit the enter button to validate what's on the screen and PF11 to move forward to the next screen. The next screen you see is a short parameter data entry screen which shows some defaults that will be taken during the install. You can change any of these should be required and once you've changed them again hit PF11 to scroll forward to the next screen. The next screen you see is called the long parameter data entry screen and this is where you enter details of job card information and details of all the high level qualifiers for the files that we created during the install. If you PF8 down the screen, you'll see all the options that have been taken by default and you can change any of these if you're required to. Again, once you've hit the end of the screen, PF11 to show the next screen, which is the Allocation Attributes Entry screen. This screen allows you to change any SMS parameters or any volts or any unit information that may be required during the install. For Control O, there are two other parameters you need to change on here, which is the units of the Control O operational libraries and also the volume of the Control O operational libraries. Once you've entered these parameters, it's entered to validate them and once again PF11 to show the next screen. You can now see at this point all the parameters have been entered and you've been asked to confirm if you're ready to start the install. And hit Y to confirm the start of the install and then the enter button. And from here onwards everything is completely automated. 
you'll see the first couple of things it does is to verify the parameters once again and it also performs a small test to make sure that ICE can submit jobs to JES and also check them afterwards. This is because as part of the process ICE will install all the products and will submit various jobs in the background and needs to be able to check them before completing to the next step. You can now see that the install of IOA has started. All the messages that you see on the screen will be written to a log file in the background so if there's any problems with this process you can refer to the log file rather than having to worry about what's on the screen. If there are any failures during this process, a press, the express install is not restartable. So if you do have any problems, you need to delete your complete install and start from the beginning again. You can now see from the messages on the screen that the install of IOA has completed and the install of Control-O has now started. Now you can see the control O installation is completed and you get a message at the end to say whether the installation has ended with either success or unsuccessful. As you can see here the installation is finished with success and now the bulk of the install is now completed. There's a message at the bottom so asking you to press PF11 for some additional instructions that you need to perform before starting the environments. These will include APF authorizing the libraries, applying security should you need to, editing password members and a few other tasks that need to be completed before you can actually progress. This is now the end of the install. PF3 to come out of it. So the install is now completed and should you need to make any more changes to any of the environment details, you'll need to select the customization and option in ICE to make any further changes. This is the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.